In today's YouTube video, guys, I'm going to be showing you the new best controller settings here after the mid-season update here in Season 2. Now, I do guarantee these settings will make you unstoppable, have a higher KD, win more gunfights, get those 100 kill games, and just see improvement overall. So, if you guys are new here and find this video to help, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel with noties on, and let's get into it. Maybe you're new to my channel, maybe you're new to this video and don't know if you can trust my builds and settings. Here are my stats as of right now here in Season 2. Out of 85,000 kills, I have a 7.49 kd my highest gun streak or kill streak whatever you want to call it is 98 without dying and also my highest kill game right now is 246 so far here in modern warfare 3 also with the builds and the settings that i have a huge part in my settings here and everything is my controller which i run an aim controller if you want to cop the best controller in the market right now they're better than scuff controllers they're better than battle beavers and everything make sure you go in the description or the pinned comment and go click that link buy you a brand new controller and use my code paradox for five percent off which they do help out a lot and i do guarantee as soon as you buy a controller you will get an mgb i do promise so now getting into my settings guys for the first thing that we're gonna be talking about here guys is gonna be the controller vibrations and you guys know me already i'm not gonna go through every single thing here in the settings we're only gonna go things that you need to change here in modern warfare 3 as of right now which the first thing here is controller vibration now i'm sure a lot of you guys have controllers that have vibrators in them for me i have mine custom made which i don't have the vibrators in them so i have them removed so it does help out a ton but for you guys you need to turn this off it is going to help out a ton and like i've said in my recent videos and everything and even on streams the smallest things here in call of duty can get you killed vibrations different lighting and everything just small things like that can get you killed vibration needs to be turned off it may take time to get used to it but i do guarantee having this off getting used to it is going to make you a better player so 100 percent go ahead and turn this off here Next, guys, we have our dead zone input, which I think is really important. For the last month since my last settings video, I went ahead and tested out as many things as I can here. And I do believe right here are the best dead zone settings here in Modern Warfare 3. Your controller is very sensitive. You don't have to press down on your controller hard anymore like that. It's not going to hurt the controller. You're going to keep it healthy. You get to use the same controller for as long as you need here. And if you don't have these settings, your controller is going to wear down. It's going to break. You will have to get a new one and everything like that and you don't want to do that especially if you have an expensive controller like an aim controller or anything like that so having this on is going to make it more sensitive you don't have to wear down your controller as much and it is going to help out a ton so of course you need to copy these down next guys we have our vertical and horizontal stick sensitivity under our aiming settings here now this is going to help out a ton you know it's not too fast it's not too slow and i actually dropped it down from my last settings video which i've actually realized a lot of these settings they actually are faster than they normally feel feel like with 7.7 before then I raised it up to an 8 to see if it was a little bit faster I tried it out for a little bit but it was actually getting too fast for me I was kind of overlooking people and I didn't want to do that so I went ahead and dropped it down to a 7.7 it did make me a little bit better also with my ADS sensitivity multiplier I went ahead and dropped it down as well from 0.95 to 0.90 my aim has felt a little bit better more sticky and everything so of course we want to copy those down to make it a little bit better Next, we have our aim response curve type, which I still have mine on dynamic. I haven't changed it at all. I don't think you really need to. I still think this is the best aim response curve type here in Call of Duty. I think it will always be. But actually, a lot of people are actually converting to linear. Apparently, they did a buff on it or something. And a lot of people are starting to like linear a little bit more. But for me, I still like dynamic. You can try linear to dynamic, see whatever you like. But let me know in the comment section what do you guys use or what do you prefer. For me, I do like dynamic which I still think it is the best so of course we are going to be keeping it on now down here we're at our aim assist settings here which I have changed a few things now we are going to keep target aim assist on if you have it off go ahead and turn that back on you're playing call of duty wrong just to let you know make sure to have this on you are going to be better if you're playing it off if you're trying to prove something I don't know what it is you know I know how keyboard and mouse players can get saying all oh, you use target aim assist or whatnot but hey I mean I like aim assist it makes me better so of course I am going to have it on here and for the aim assist type I actually changed mine from default and I actually went to Black Ops. Although it did get nerfed in Modern Warfare 2 last year, I don't really know if it got rebuffed or, you know, reverted to the changes. But I have to say, with Black Ops, my aim has actually been better at those longer range gunfights and everything, which you have, guys, you've seen in my rank play videos, the streams, and the gameplays and everything. Black Ops aim assist type 
is actually pretty good so of course we are going to keep it on now jumping over here to our gameplay settings there is a few things that we need to change here and the first thing that we're going to be talking about is going to be the automatic sprint which we have automatic tax sprint now this is going to help out a ton if you're trying to be a little bit more aggressive now it really just depends on your play style if you're just kind of a slower campy player or if you're just trying to get as many kills as possible level your guns up whatever you may be doing and just need a lot of kills if you're trying to play aggressive you want to have on automatic tax sprint but if you don't really want to have that aggressive play style if you're more of a slower player here in call of duty which is nothing wrong with that you don't need to have this on but if you're watching this i'm sure you're trying to get better trying to get more kills and everything so you are going to put on automatic tax sprint it is going to help out a ton especially if you're running like entry vests lightweight boots and everything you're basically going to be moving around like you have roller blades on no kidding it is going to help you move faster around the map which is really good tactical sprint behavior we have on single tap sprint this is actually banned in the competitive scene they don't want you to use that because it gives you an advantage if you are running automatic tax sprint so of course we want to have this on it's going to make us better be more aggressive with our analog sticks and again making it more sensitive so we only have to tap it up and it's more easier on the controller and everything so of course we want to have it on now for the next few things we have our mantles and everything which we're going to put on grounded mantle we're going to put it on off automatic airborne mantle off and automatic ground mantle off as well slide dive behavior we're going to put on slide only unless you want to dolphin dive and everything it really just depends on your play style but if you're just trying to slide cancel very nice and smoothly and everything you want to have on slide only and then for the last thing here for our gameplay settings we have our plunging art of water depending on if you're swimming a lot or depending on what maps you're playing have this on free it's going to make you look a little bit better in the water gun fights and everything so make sure to have these on as well next guys we're going to be jumping over here to the graphic settings which i'm only going to be taking a look at the view part just because display and quality console players are only limited to what they see also people with pcs and everything have their own settings which i don't really need to go over but here for the field of view you want to put it on 117 don't max out to 120 because you get some sort of delay you don't want that i've been using 117 for a couple years now it doesn't it doesn't look different any from 120 so drop it down to 117 if you are playing on 120 there is no more delay or anything like that which is going to help you out any any delays in gameplay your controller or anything like that is a disadvantage you don't want that even a millisecond half a millisecond that's a disadvantage so of course we don't want that so make sure to have it on 117 ADS field of view, have it on affected. If you're on independent, you're playing Call of Duty wrong, just to let you know. And I have had this comment a lot. Why does it look like your guns have no recoil? Why does your gun not go everywhere when firing? I'm using the same build. It's because you're playing on independent. Now, if you're on affected, the weapon looks smaller. And, you know, it, it actually helps with visual recoil. Like a lot of Modern Warfare 2 weapons have visual recoil. Having on affected actually lowers the visual recoil because your gun is so zoomed out. So it helps out a ton also same with weapon field of view you want to have it on wide because it makes the weapon smaller you get less visual recoil with weapons that have a lot of visual recoil and quote unquote there's no more recoil people say it doesn't help with recoil control and everything but also realistically it just helps with visual recoil that's it so go ahead and put this on wide a couple more settings here under the view settings we have our camera settings which is going to be the world motion blur and weapon motion blur we're going to go ahead and turn this off a huge disadvantage if you don't have these off just because your game's going to start looking blurry if you're spinning around looking somewhere your weapon's going to turn blurry you don't want that it is a disadvantage same with the gameplay and everything the map will turn blurry if you start spinning around and everything we don't want that same with film grain we're going to go ahead and turn this down we do not want our game to look any grainy and you know sometimes you know people go into these little cheese spots you might think that's a spec no that's a player they're going to kill you so having this off is going to help you out a ton small disadvantages having this up can get you killed it's crazy and then for the final thing here under our camera settings we're going to put this on first person camera movement we're going to drop it down to 50 percent just because if you have motion sickness or anything like that dropping this down it's not going to be as crazy on you so it should help out a lot now i've actually got this setting from shotzi probably the best movement player in the CDL as of right now and he did say turn this down to 50%. Now we're going to be jumping over our audio settings. We're going to put that last and we're going to talk about our interface settings here first. And the first thing that we need to talk about here real quick, guys, is our mini map shape. Now, I'm not sure how many guys are playing on circle or square. If you are on playing on the circle mini map, go ahead and change it to square. It is going to help you out a ton. You're going to see more of the mini map. And especially if you're trying to learn spawns on the shorter range maps like shipment, rust, dash house, or anything like that, you need to learn spawns. So you, of course, need to have a large 
your map advanced uav uav whatever it may be is going to help you basically read the mini map like a book so it's going to help out a ton you see more of it so make sure to go ahead and add on the square mini map first now i have my horizontal compass off now i'm sure a lot of people have it on it just shows like you know where people are you know at 345 degrees north or whatnot for me i don't care about that if i see someone i'm chasing them that's just how i am for me i think horizontal compass is more for like war zone for multiplayer i don't really think that's really needed here so i am going to keep this off if you want to have it on per se if you play war zone modern warfare 3 that way you know instead of saying left have it always like 300 degrees to your left 300 degrees north or whatever just have this on or off it really doesn't matter but for me it does throw me off a lot so i'm gonna have it off crosshairs we are going to put on static and what we're going to do is put this on the center dot on and put our center dot to larger as you guys see here in the graph here on the right a little bit my face cam is hiding it you actually get a bigger center dot so it is going to help with a little bit more centering and i feel like that is one thing a lot of players have wrong they don't really know how to master is centering the circle the center dot is going to help out a lot with centering your guns and everything so make sure to have it on larger i wouldn't really go largest because that's kind of too od but honestly larger is just plenty so we are going to be having this on larger and then for the final thing here guys we are going to be talking about player names and you want to have this on full name all i'm going to say is if you have a long name here in modern warfare 3 you're at such a disadvantage if you're hiding sometimes you can read people through walls and everything your name does pop up so make sure to have it on full name so you can see their full entire name and of course if you guys know already aiming at someone their whole name pops up with full name on so it is a little cheat code and that's like having it on and then for our final thing in today's video guys we have our audio settings which the only thing i really want to talk about is the audio mix now for me i am running headphone based boost which is going to increase the eq of what's going on in my headset if you're not running a headset i do recommend getting some like earbuds i know people play with apple earbuds and everything like that get you a headset get you some earbuds it will guarantee to help you with the voice hearing sound hearing and everything like that and that's really the only thing i hear to talk about here in the audio settings but that is it for the settings here if you do try any of these settings let me know in the comment section did you improve anything in your gameplay also, if you do change anything, let me know in the comment section what did you change. But guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.